Hi everybody, this is Julian from RC. In this video and the next videos, I would like to walk you through RC Cloud, our end-to-end -end platform to adapt and deploy open source small language models. I'll do that with both the web interface and the Python SDK, so everybody should be able to follow along. And we'll cover all the main features, model pre-training, model merging, model alignment, model deployment, model download, and I guess a couple more things along the way. Okay, so should be fun. All the notebooks are available on GitHub. I'll share the link in the video descriptions. But for now, let's start with the first video, model deployment. Of course, we start from the RC website at rc.ai. And first things first, we need to sign in and probably sign up for most of you. So you can create an account in, in seconds, email, password, that's about it, okay? And of course I have one already, so let me log in. Next, you need to create an organization. So here, it's just a, a test org and it's just me, but we could have other people joining here. So the first thing we need to grab is our API token, okay? Because we're gonna need this to uh, perform API calls when we work with the Python library. Okay, so here I have mine already. Uh, you should create one. Just click on create token, set the expiration date, click on create. Okay, and we have a new token. And I guess that's the one I will use in the demo. So make sure you save this because uh, it it's not visible anymore, right? Um, so don't lose it, or I guess you could create another one. So let me just save this and we'll start deploying models. So now I've stashed my token, that's fine. Needless to say, this is a secret credential, so please um, treat it as a password. Don't share it anywhere. Don't put it in your uh, Git repositories. Uh, keep it safe, okay? Fine, um, so now let's move on to deployment. So how do we deploy a model? Let's try the uh, UI first. Okay, so click on create deployment, give it a name, and uh, let's call this one, I don't know, Julian's uh, Llama, whatever, okay. Um, and we can grab one of the models here. So um, you'll see some off-the-shelf models that are already available in, uh, in RC. And of course, as you build your own, you will see yours as well. But for now, let's just go and deploy maybe uh, Llama Instruct, okay? Click on Create Deployment, and that's it, okay? So we have to wait for a few minutes, and then the model will be uh, deployed on the RC infrastructure, and we'll be able to test it on the right. Okay, so let me pause the video while this is happening. And um, once the model is live, we'll quickly test it. And then we'll look at how to do this with the Python API. The model has been deployed. It took maybe five minutes. So now we can test it. Okay, so let's just enter a prompt here. How did Turing break the Enigma code? And we can send this to the model and hopefully get an answer, okay? So the purpose here is not to provide, um, I would say, a full-fledged uh, inference service. It's really a, a quick way to deploy models that you are working on within uh, RC Cloud and, um, and just check that they are generating properly and you know, fine-tune them again, redeploy them, etc., etc. Okay, well, so that's the baseline llama. So that's happening just fine here, right? Okay, so we can see this model is working, we could test it out, etc., etc. right? Okay, pretty cool. So one-click deployment for models uh, you are working on within RC Cloud, okay? And uh, when we're done, uh, I guess we should stop the deployment, right? And that's it, and we can do it again. Uh, we could just run the exact same thing uh, here we just click on start deployment to redeploy the same, but we can stop and start anytime. Um, if you are working with uh, within the free tier, um, and um, that's probably what you're doing if you're just created an account minutes ago, um, this is completely free. Okay, you can deploy models, um, and endpoints will be automatically stopped 
after two hours. Okay, so no worries, this demo is not costing you anything. If you work with uh, a commercial tier, then of course, endpoints stay up for as long as you need them to. Okay, so that's model deployment in the UI. Let's take a look at how you do this with the Python SDK. You can find this notebook on GitHub. Uh, I will put the link in the video description. Uh, there's a, a collection of them. Uh, and now let's look at model deployment. Okay, so the, we got the prerequisites covered. We did create our account and we grabbed our uh, API key. Okay, and we need to uh, set it as an environment variable. Okay, once again, this is a secret. Do not share this anywhere. And as you can guess, I will invalidate it <laughs> after the demo. Okay. So we need to install the uh, RC Python SDK, which is called RCPy. Um, as, as usual, I recommend doing this in a virtual environment. So this is how you would do it. I've done this already, but feel free to use something else if that works. Then just import that package. Okay, and we are good to go. So unsurprisingly, we just need to point at the model we want to deploy. So that's the model name um, as visible in um, in the UI. Okay, so I'm going to deploy Llama 3.8b once again. This could be one of yours. Here I'm just using a, a built-in model. I need to give this uh, deployment a name. Okay, so I'll use a different name just for the sake of it. Okay, let's run this. All right. And we have a very simple API for deployment. It's called start deployment. As you would imagine, it only takes the deployment name and the model name. And let's just run this. So now the model is deploying and we can just check its status with deployment status. And we can actually iterate on the status. And again, this will take a few minutes, just like before. So let's just wait for that. And then we'll generate text with the model. So the model is deployed. It took, yeah, about six minutes reasonable um, and now we can generate right and as you would guess we have an RC generate API we just pass the name of the deployment and the query so let's start this again and hopefully we get the, the same answer as before and then we'll try something a little more complicated so as you can see uh, it's very very straightforward just a couple of lines of very simple Python to to deploy and and maybe automate some um, um, some testing on those models, right? It really doesn't stand in the way. Okay, so well we got our answer again. I'm pretty sure it's the same. And now let's try something. Uh, write a marketing speech. Uh, write a marketing pitch for a new SaaS AI platform called RC Cloud, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera right and let's see what llama does on this one okay all right we got a nice little email here that we could probably use and just like with the ui when you're done just stop the deployment okay and I guess run status again to stack. All right, well, that's the end of video number one, model deployment. And as you can see, signing up to RC is very simple. Deploying models, uh, giving them a spin is really simple, whether you use the UI or the SDK, okay? And it's all free for up to two hours uh, per endpoint. So that's pretty cool. Uh, definitely, you should try it. So let's move on to the next video. Keep watching and keep rocking.